of a creative suite. This, start, this marks the end of series two. So I'd like to thank everyone that's been watching on iTunes. I'd like to thank everyone that's been watching on YouTube. But I would especially like to thank everyone that's watching on VO because this week's episode is brought to you by VO. That's VO.com. I'll put the address down the bottom of the screen like I usually do. As you can see, my scenery has changed a little bit and this week I am presenting from the Adobe Training Provider Summit in San Jose, California. And I've got to say, everyone has been super nice here. I dropped into Russell Preston Brown's office at Adobe headquarters, which is just down the road here on Monday. I was very tired and he thought he would give me a copy of Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. It is killer. So you get out and get yourself a copy of Adobe uh, Photoshop Lightroom. It's available uh, right now. There's the box to prove it. Don't forget, if you're on my website, there's my website there, you can now get the How to Wow with InDesign CS2 book. But if you like, you could get the DVD from there as well. I just met Mr. Dave Cross from Photoshop TV here this morning as well. It's been super exciting. This week we're continuing last week's lesson where we had the pirate map uh, and we're going to do some, well, we're going to do something very special in Photoshop. It's a question I get asked a lot. So I hope you enjoy the episode. Okay, so one of the hardest things to do or what a lot of people think is the hardest thing to do is to deep etch out something like hair or in this case a feather. I'm just going to zoom right in on here and see these fluffy edges on the feather on our, our layout here. We're going to do that. If I right click on this I can scroll down and also say um, display performance use high quality display and that will render this absolutely perfect. It looks fantastic. How do you do it Mike? Well you've got to use Photoshop. That's for sure. So let's go right ahead and jump over to Photoshop, which I already have running, and here is the feather artwork. It's all about layer masks, my friends. That is what it is all about. And you can see I have a mask already here. If I go ahead and hold my shift key down, I can click on it and show you what was the original background in here. Now I must say there is a number of different ways to getting to this point. We can use uh, the wonderful extract filter, but that doesn't give you a mask, which means you cannot edit it. But there is a secret trick. Let's go ahead and duplicate this layer. We'll hide one of them and we'll delete this mask off it. So I'm going to go ahead and drop that into the bin and we'll say well, let's let's delete the mask. So this is what we're going to do, and we'll get straight on in to filter and extract. Here we go. So we're into the extract. So for those of you that have never used this before, it's fantastic fun. You use the edge highlighter tool. You can change your brush size like you normally do in Photoshop with the square bracket keys, and hit the smart highlighting button. We can then trace around the edge of our thing with this what it can only be described as green stuff. We do this all the way around the outside covering over though the little bits that are furry. So mm, it's hard to do with smart highlighting on so these bits we'll just shh, we'll just cover them like that. It pays to be quiet while you're doing this. Uh, you do a much better job if you concentrate rather than just talking. I'm not talking now. And turn it back on and away we go all the way around the outside. So make sure you don't leave any gaps around the outside. We've just jumped on ahead now. Make sure you don't leave any gaps and once you're done with this green stuff, hit the paint bucket and click in the middle. If the blue stays in the middle, 
then you have got the object. Let's go ahead and hit the preview button. If you hit the preview button, it will display what kind of a job has this done? Well, it's done not a bad job, I don't think. And you can preview it against various different backgrounds. But here's where the fun starts. Use the edge cleanup tools to come around and either erase more away or holding the alt of the option key down, put some more stuff back in. Okay, you can even smarten the edge up a little bit or edge touch up tool with this and you simply scrub this along and I'll zoom in and show you exactly what goes on here because you probably can't see. I simply scrub this along the edge and it will tidy up these little rough edges. I just like that to be a little bit neater and that looks much better. Once you're done, you go ahead and press OK. So what we see here is the background completely erased. Now I should have spent a lot more time cleaning that up, but just for the sake of the argument, I'm just going to skip right on ahead. We don't want the background to be deleted. I like to keep the background there. So what we do, we load the transparency as a selection. Control key down or Apple key down and click on that layer. We'll load the transparency as a selection. We then delete this layer. We no longer need it. We come back to our layer and then we press the layer mask button. You see we already have our layer mask on there and this button right down here will convert any selection into a layer mask and this is exactly how this was done. Once you have your layer mask, it's all good from there on in. We can use dodge and burn tools on this mask to fix up any edges. We can tint the edge hairs around here and subtract and delete and do whatever we like with this feather and it's going to look like pure gold. We close it, we save it back into InDesign and everyone's happy. That is a very quick explanation of one of the ways that we can create a mask like <laughs> Well, I really hope you enjoyed that, that lesson. As I said before, it's a very uh, common thing that I get asked, how do you deep etch out or how do you cut out things like that, Mike? And well, I really hope that explained a little bit about it. It's been a super uh, great week here so far. The sun's just come out. It's been raining uh, so far in California, but um, the training provider, I've met fantastic people from all around the globe. We've got people from here in California, from, uh, from Texas, from Seattle. I've met some people from Canada, from Amsterdam, from the UK as well, from Hong Kong, Mexico. It's been absolutely fantastic. So if you need some training, you should look for a certified training provider, an Adobe certified training provider. I'm one, I'm in Australia, so you can look for me. But if you're anywhere in the world, you will find one on the Adobe website. It would be a very good idea for you to go and have a look at that. So don't forget, visit my website. I've got some links on there for some of the things I've been talking about this episode. Have a great time and uh, tune back in. Soon we'll be up with episode 21. And it promises to be a cracker. We're gonna continue on with our Adobe Magic lesson. Yeah.